Hi everybody, Sherman Kranz from Condux International Tech Support. Uh, showing you how to run a standard cable glider up against a duck bank. Um, this is our standard cable glider, like I mentioned. Two speed, we've got the capstan here with a self-tailing uh, feature on it so you don't have to be pulling on, keeping tension on the capstan. And we have a duck bank set up here in their training facility. We have a two inch, four inch, and a six inch here. I plugged it into the four inch duck bank. And what we have on this duck bank, we kind of have a low level. Um, this is probably typical inside of a manhole, but a lot of times you're gonna find uh, all different levels. So I got the arm set at a certain angle to reach that level. So I have my rope coming underneath the shiv and then coming between or between the arms here, inside the arm, up and over to, the, to reach the capstan. So I have all three of my shivs being engaged. Uh, if the duck bank was, say, up here at uh, five foot or so, I would, be, I would be plugging in and then coming over the top of the shivs and reaching them that way. Because um, you do need to make contact on all, all three shivs. Um, this uh, fork adapter here is split. So if your rope is already out and you're on the spool already, you can, you can plug into it that way just by splitting and wrapping it right around and you're ready to go. Um, we got her all set up here, so I'll just let her run for a little bit and show you how. Uh, one other safety feature that you want to remember, you do not want to be standing in the, in the path of the rope just in case something happens inside the duct that you're not going to be aware of. It gets too much tension, you might have a fault in your rope something could snap, so you always want to be off to the side. And that's where this uh, self-tailing feature comes in handy. You don't have to be pulling on it, you can just let it do the work itself. Easy as pie. Thank you.